Hi everyone, my name is Admir. Uh, on Dang. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Tari TV. Excite! <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Tari TV where we bring the classroom to you. My name is Admir and today we're going to talk about the fun stuff and not so fun stuff about studying at Iwa and Yonsei GSIS. Yay! <laughs> I studied for two years in Yonsei GSIS and while doing so, when you study in one GSIS program, you can go to other GSIS schools. The first option, of course, because it's right across the street, was Iwa GSIS. And in doing so, I had a pleasure to study with the lovely Professor Hannah Jun. I had Prof. Hannah Jun. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Selfish, but shameless. Shameless Plug, PR. Yeah. I'm actually interested, why did you choose to study at Iwa? I met people that took the two classes at Iwa, and across the board, the quality of the lectures was what I was interested in. It's one experience in Yonsei, and then one experience in Iwa. My experience in Yonsei GSIS, I had no female lecturers. Are you for real? For real. I had no female lecturers. Oh my goodness. My goal was to learn about all departments within a company. Mm -hmm. HR classes and CSR classes were not offered in Yonsei GSIS. So I was I had to look outside. Iwa is very I wanna say easy to talk to. The staff, the professors, the students they are easy to interact with in a sense you can tell them what you want to do and they can tell you how you can get it and what to expect. I took HR class Professor Pyeon. Yes. I fully recommend that class. I fully recommend that professor. And then I took class Professor Han Jun, who I got introduced to by my fellow IWA students while I was taking Professor Pyeon class. So wait, I'm curious, what did, what did they say? They say <laughs> it's such a like interesting class. We do study visits, we do like opinions, we do takes, we take arguments, stuff like this. I was like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. And then the lovely professor over here has a substantial Instagram following and an open <laughs> and an open profile and they were like, oh see, we took she took us here, she took us there, they went here, they went there. I was like, well we don't do any like this in Yonsei. Oh, so that's, that's a pity. That's a pity. Let, let me at least try to have this experience. Yeah. Send an email got back to me immediately, immediately 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 eventually i made my way to the class and what a pleasurable experience it was yes it was the first time that we actually had a project it was the first time that i actually had like a hands-on experience it was the first time that i i was in charge of like working in a team setting with two other ladies. Your team was um, Julia and Bashar, yes, right? Yes. So you had a very global team. Actually. Very, very diverse team. Both having like different set of skills. The whole purpose of this project was like an artistic visual presentation of our findings. My major is international business and finance, so I want to deal with numbers. But when you actually have to present these numbers to drawings, and the Bashar comes and she's in a good drawer. And yes. Julie also knows how to use those software for making uh -huh. illust illust illustrators and stuff and I was like wow I learned so much it was very interesting in a sense that it was both useful and efficient and then you get a grade at the end sustainability reporting and analysis right. what we try to do is we look at sustainability information that's provided by companies uh, and we put it on a platform so that it's easy to find just one place and hopefully it helps to increase transparency accountability and also comparability among the companies and their data and so what the students engage in the first half of the semester is a little bit of labor <laughs> Yes. It's a little bit of labor because you have to input uh, the data onto the system. You have to be very accurate. Yes. You have to get the right information onto the system. You will struggle a bit, but uh, honestly, you can ask the question and the professor will answer. Oh, do we, you even have their, oh, the team of the Wikirate site. That's right. they can, they're at your like, disposal, you can ask them. Again, learning a new thing. It's great that because uh, it, it builds and accumulates, and so hopefully we have a much bigger database from which to help corporations yes. uh, understand about the importance of sustainability, but also make it easier for us and users of that information to use it in a really practical way. And so this year, as you know, it was everything was online, uh, so it was a really different atmosphere to previous courses. So it was actually really challenging. I wasn't quite sure what to do. Um, you did very well. I had no complaints. Thank you. Do I get an A plus? You do. <laughs> you do. Thank you. 
I needed to make sure that students were first willing to be able to use the kind of virtual platform rather than the, the, the offline format. And so all of the students were fantastic. What they ended up doing was they created short videos. They did a fantastic job and I'm actually going to show you an example of Amir, Bashir and Julie's yes. uh, video right now. Yes. So take a look. Each year, over 2 billion t-shirts are sold worldwide, making it a regular tint of many closets around the world. But how? And where is a common t-shirt made? And what is its environmental footprint? Why don't we play a little this or that? There's the Yonsei and then there's the Iha. Can I play the fifth though, if I really don't want to answer? Play the fifth. Okay. Play the fifth. Okay. Maybe you'll have to do a dare. Okay. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, which one has the nicest campus? One, two, three. Iwa. The campus on its own, it's very pretty and like more Instagrammable, I would say. But there's so many non Iwa people also there because it's such a good place to take photos. So it's always full of tourists. So when I was walking through Iwa campus, I was like, I feel like I'm going through like a national museum yes. or like a national heritage UNESCO protected it's the, thing. It's the Louvre. It, yeah, I feel it was so busy. And don't get me wrong, we get a lot of this in Yonsei as well. Yep. There literally is a line of people in front of you and you're like, I'm late for my class. Can you please like let me go? Quality of experience during class. Oh. Yonsei or Iho? One, two, three. Okay, Iwa again. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's a very biased opinion very again. <laughs> I had, I only experienced two professors in Iwa. Both of them were extremely engaging, extremely interested into what they were teaching and what they were doing. And like you can sense it, as a student you can sense it. I never felt uncomfortable to ask any question. Professors are more relatable. Relatable? Relatable? <laughs> That just means lower on the food chain. <laughs> less, okay. intimidating. Yes, less intimidating. Less intimidating. Less intimidating. There definitely. you go. Yeah. Definitely. More approachable. Yes, approachable. yes, 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 yes. So that's okay. How about the classroom atmosphere just among students? Yes. So just interactions among students. Hands down, uh, Yonsei, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. No, okay. Very biased. I feel like Yonsei people have more fun. Okay. One of the perks of having a bigger classroom is like more people, more people that you can socialize, more people you can talk with. So you just graduated, yeah. And so you probably wore your lovely graduation gown. I did. Have you seen the new Iho gown, like the the Harry Potterish? I one? saw. Yes. So which one is more aesthetically pleasing, Yonsei or Iho graduation gowns? One, two, three. Yonsei ones. I like the blue color that Yonsei has. It's a nice I color. like how it fits well with the greenery of the school. Mm -hmm. We have like that building with like mosses on it and we're yes. like, oh, it, it looks like Hogwarts and I was yes. like, it's not... Have you ever taken, you know, which house are you for yes, Hogwarts? Yes, yes, what, yes. What I you? was a Ravenclaw. You were Ravenclaw? Yeah, who were you? Take a guess. Slytherin? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe... Is it Gryffindor? <laughs> Is it Gryffindor? F. <laughs> I oh. normally come up Hufflepuff, okay. so I'm Hufflepuff and then a little bit, the next one would be Ravenclaw. Oh. So the, I why never get you, like anything so there. I think they're they're just naturally nice, likable well, and agreeable. Sense, and, yeah. It then makes so sense. What can you do? It's just yeah. a test of a fictional book. There's nothing <laughs> that we can do. But I know, but you know, it's yes, but Slytherin. Come on, Slytherin. I know you're smart and resourceful. That's like a thing that Slytherin people have. That's why I was thinking. Yeah, but so is Ravenclaw. Well, the Ravenclaw like we're smart, resourceful, and also funny. Oh, so I'm not. <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm thinking of a grade lower than yeah. F. <laughs> There's F minus. You know. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. Maybe you could say a word of encouragement. I think coming to Korea from a different country is definitely a leap of faith. You really want to change your life, you want to change your perspective, you want to hopefully become better, more employable, more beneficial to your own country if you want to return back home. Even though it, you will struggle a bit, do it with confidence, be brave, take the challenge head on. And I promise you, if your attitude is right, your results are going to follow and you will do great. Oh. What's the Yonsei wave? I don't know, Yonsei wave, like the Queen of England, I guess. I that's Ipa. Yeah. <laughs>
Maybe like something with an eagle or something. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's like we're flying away to our future or whatever. It's terrible. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you so much for like doing this. Cheers.